Gentlemen, what is going on? So today's video, I'm going to give you my top 10 summer fragrances of 2017. Now this is actually going to be the designer video, while there is going to be a niche video. This is actually in no particular order. Some fragrances I will reach for a little bit more, and there are some that I actually prefer a lot more than some of the others. But let's just get this started. The first scent is actually going to be Ferrari Cedar Essence. Now with the name Cedar in it, you would naturally assume that it's more of a fall and winter scent. Man, was I wrong. It is a very green scent with that cedar note, but also with the mint. There is a fruity accord with the watermelon, but there's also some sea notes to this one. This is an aromatic scent that's very crisp, it's clean, it's kind of ozonic, and maybe there's some aldehydes in it, but I really do like this one. And uh, this is one I'm actually going to be reaching for quite a bit. Now, I love a good scent that has a nice, like, mojito cord or, like, a tropical drink. This one here is definitely that. Viz Komuto Um. So it does have a gin note along with some lavender, some woods, some juniper berries. This here is pretty much like a casual tropical scent type of vibe. I really do like it. The bottle is, man, the bottle looks very expensive. Very luxurious. You would think that it's like a niche type of scent, but this one here is actually very refreshing and I love the gin note in this. Next scent, Kenneth Cole Reaction Connected. Now this is a very interesting looking bottle. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a thermos or anything, but you do have this clip. You know, you can remove the clip, so I'm not a big fan of this clip itself, but you know, the juice itself is actually quite refreshing. It's got a fruity note. It is like a very summertime scent. It's got fruity notes, tropical, aromatic scent. Um, this is like a feel-good scent. Now, this, this scent makes you feel good and feel happy. It's just like a laid-back, casual, cool vibes type of scent. Next scent, Hugo Boss Pure. So, Hugo Boss Pure. That's my Boston accent, because I can't do a New York accent. And Boston accent is probably done real bad. So, this was actually a gift from the future sister-in-law. I actually got this for Christmas. Now, this was like a blind buy. I was actually going by the notes, and the notes looked really promising. There is like a lot of florals to this. There's some figs, there's some citruses, uh, but it's also a very green scent. Now, when it comes to the florals, I think it's high in sight. This is actually a really surprisingly decent scent. You know, you don't hear about this scent a lot in the community, and uh, I think that should get a little bit more notice because surprisingly, it's actually really good. So as I stated for the Vince Komodo one, I really do like a scent that has a nice tropical drink to it. This one is definitely no exception. Kenneth Cole Vintage Black. Now this is the only decant in this video, I assure you, but this is actually a really nice scent. So there is a tequila vibe to it. It's got wood, some green, uh, a lot of citruses. This is a citrus aromatic scent, you know, tropical vacation right here. Now, if I were to go to the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, you know, I got a lot of friends in New York that are Latino. This is what I'm pretty much picturing. Um, I like it, you know, again, this one doesn't get a lot of mention, but this is actually a really good scent, guys. It's like a feel good scent. It's like laid back, casual. And yeah, it just, it reminds me of the tropics. It's just a great chilled summertime scent. Next scent, Jeremy Fragrance hype the shit out of me. Man, I can understand why. Bulgarian. Gary Aqua Amara. Now, this is not like a lot of your typical uh, summertime freshies. This is a little bit different. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if it's because of the citruses or the watering notes, but there's something in here that's really different. There is olibanum, but there's something special about this scent. And, you know, Jeremy, I could totally understand why that you think that this is a great summertime scent, a sexy one, because it is a, uh, a sexy scent. And for the price tag, this is extremely economical, like 20, 25 bucks. I had the decant from Decant Shop, but I graduated to the actual bottle. This is just a 50 ml, but man, this is getting a lot of mention and a lot of play for great reason and I'm so looking forward to checking this one out a lot more this summertime. Eau de Cartier Essence d'Orange from the house of Cartier or Cartier. Now there's something in here that does give it a gentleman's vibe and more of a elegant vibe to it. Now it's probably the violet but there's also some patchouli, lots of citrus and some woods in this one. Now a lot of people on Fragrantica think it's more of a daytime scent but I think it's powerful enough for the evening out. You know, suit and tie, tuxedo, something in here just does give it that elegant luxurious, gentleman-like feel. When I think of Cartier, I naturally assume more expensive, elegant, classy, but you know, like their, their fragrances like Roadster, which I absolutely love. It's got a great mint note. 
you know, is more of a casual scent. This here has more of an elegance feel to it. Bath and Body Works Alpine Suede. Now, with the name Alpine Suede, you would think that it's more of a mountainous Alpine vibe, but man, I get more of a tropical vacation vibe. Now, I did do a review on this one. Not sure if it's going to be released before this video, but a lot of the people thought it was more of a tropical vacation than an Alpine uh, mountainous vibe. Now, I repeated the exact words tropical vacation quite a bit in that video so don't kill me you know but when I first smelled this it's a very pleasing scent but I don't get any of the notes that is listed I do get a green sort of feel but I don't get like the suede I don't get anything like that I get coconut verbena which is not even a note I get citruses I get fruity notes and so on this is actually really pleasing really fresh you know oh my god this is like out of all the tropical scents that I mentioned in this video, this is way more tropical than anything in this list. I absolutely love this one. Bath and Body Works, 30, 35 bucks. You know, I hate the company, I hate the store, I hate going there when I am forced to go with a fiance. But this was actually a blind buy and a gem, and I'm actually glad she hauled my ass there. Now we're down to the final two, man. You know what? These two are pretty much like my favorites when it comes to the designer freshies. And let's just get into this one right now. Ferrari Bright Neroli, man. I've talked about this, I've tried hyping it up, but nobody ever listens to Chad from A Gentleman's Journey. No, I don't know why. I can understand why, you know. But thanks to guys like Cy and Al from Fragrance Fanatic One, they really did a, an outstanding job when it comes to their videos. And because of those two gentlemen, it really started gaining a lot of momentum. To me, this does come very close to Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, just a lot less of the price tag. But it's not exactly 100% uh, accurate. You know, I would say that it's maybe 80, 85%. Tom Ford Neroli Portofino is a better constructed scent. I actually prefer that one, just not the price tag. This is the poor man's version of Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It's got a lot of Neroli citrus, it's got some orange blossoms, some musk, uh, I think there's a little bit of woods. This is a very fresh, vibrant, laid back, effervescent, man, this is a feel good scent. This is like summertime in a bottle. This is the epitome of summertime, just like this scent here, Aqua de, um, Aqua de Bergamota from the House of Zegna. This here is just fantastic. On Notina, it's going for like 30 to 40 bucks American. If you could get it for that price, Guys, just blind buy it. I'm pretty sure that you're going to like it. Up here in Canada, it's $110 Canadian. I personally don't think it's worth that, $110. But I would rather spend $110 than $350 Canadian on Roly Portofino. This here is just absolutely wonderful. And the last bad boy in this video, Allure Homme Sport from Chanel. I have a lot of bottles. I have sold a lot of bottles. I've rebought them. But out of everything that I've ever owned, this is the only fragrance I have ever finished. But this here is probably the most versatile fragrance in this video, minus this one. This one here is more pleasing. I think it's a better job, but it's very aromatic. There's some aldehydes, a lot of citrus, some tonkamine. Versatile as hell, sexy as hell, very aromatic. It's kind of ozonic as well a little bit, but Jesus, this is one of the best scents from Chanel. And I actually have Bleu de Chanel. Man, I actually prefer, prefer this so much more. So guys, that's it for my top 10 summer fragrances of 2017. Now, if there's any of the fragrances in this video that you like the most, let me know. If there's one that you'd absolutely despise, hell, let me know as well. So guys, that's it. Thank you for your time. Take care and I'll see you later.